Hey guys, it's Annie. I'm here with my first haul from a company called The Burning Mitten. They are based out of Michigan and I'm really excited to get in here. I was just looking around for someone to order from because my wonderful significant others gave me some birthday money. So let's go. The first thing I'm seeing, I just got a bunch of scent shots and I got the Supernatural sampler so that'll be in here somewhere. So this is all shucks which is cornbread muffin and sugar corn pudding. And these, I think, are the two ounce, yeah, 1.75 ounce wax melts. These are nice, big, chunky guys. And it's got some glitter on there. Oh my God, that smells so good. It's a little bit cinnamony. Yeah, really, really good cornbread type of scent. I love that. And it just says on it the burning mitten and the name and the amount and then the scent description on the back. It doesn't have the, uh, the port date or anything, which does not bother me. Okay, and then we got Big Hoppa, which is white cake, lemon curd, and cream cheese frosting. Really pretty. It's got some, like, iridescent glitter on top. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah, it smells like an iced lemon sugar cookie. Yeah, that's really, really good. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't had new wax melts in a while. Like, just wax melts, you know? I got some from Candy Panda a little bit ago. Okay, this one is Chicks Dig It. Lemon curd, peeps, and sugar cookie dough. So this one might be kind of similar to the last one. It's got some cute little lime glitters. I don't know what those are called. Yeah, it does smell really similar to the last one. I'm actually not really sure what the difference was. Okay, yeah, this one is a little bit more lemony. This one's a little bit more sweet. I really like them both. Okay, what else we got? Lucky Milkshake. Oh, I was really excited about this one. Lucky Charms Vanilla Ice Cream and Whipped Cream. And again, don't mind my nails. I'm going to do them at some point. Ooh. That smells really good. I don't know that I necessarily smell Lucky Charms. It kind of smells a little bit like a strawberry shortcake doll to me. It smells amazing. Like, I definitely get some, like, birthday cake type of scent, which I don't know if that's, like, the vanilla ice cream or the whipped cream, but that is amazing. I got Bell's Library, Library Vanilla Bean Noel and Rose Jam, and I love Vanilla Bean Noel and Rose Jam. I don't really know what library is. Oh, that smells so good. I still don't know what the library is. I'm guessing maybe it's supposed to smell like books or like something like that, but I really get the Vanilla Bean Noel and the Rose Jam together, and they smell so good together. Oh my god, I love that. It almost smells like it could be like, um, like the smell of a bath bomb or something. Which I know, like, Rose Jam, they have a bath bomb, but this really just smells like, like an actual Lush scent. Like, kind of like I'm walking into a Lush shop or something. It's really nice. Okay, and then we got Chubby Bunny, which is white cake peeps and Twinkies. So, got lots of, like, Easter scents just because that's what there was. That smells amazing. It smells like an amazing um, birthday cake type of scent. And it looks like it's got like sprinkles type confetti on it. That smells so good. I love that one. Maybe I should be like putting them over here as I'm taking them out. Make it all cute and stuff. Okay, let's keep going. We got Easter Sunday which is pistachio macaroon, lavender, and lemon pound cake. That sounds absolutely amazing. That smells so good. I definitely get the pistachio and the lavender. Oh my god, I love it so much. I cannot wait to melt that one. Oh my god. Oh boy, did we get a sample? Brunch punch. Strawberry, peach nectar, orange sherbet, fizzy soda, and champagne. Ooh. And I will, uh, if I have an invoice in here, I'll, like, say prices and stuff, but I'm not sure if I do. Okay, let me smell that. Mm. 
really orangey. It smells kind of like orange candy. Yeah, that's nice. Not really a scent I would have picked for myself, so I like that. And then I really should have tried to do these samples first. I don't know what I was thinking. And then we got Dirty Ho, which is dirt, homegrown herbs, and tomato leaf. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Wow, yeah, it smells like dirt. <laughs> that is so good. It smells like you're going out into your garden and tending to your tomatoes and herbs. That's fantastic. Okay, and then we got pecan pie brulee. Oh, this one's a multicolored one. That's cool. I love that. And that is pecan pie and creme brulee. Mm. Yeah, it reminds me of pralines, and these come out super easy. This is adorable. Look at that. It looks like a latte or something. Yeah, that smells really, really good. I'm, I'm loving all of these, and they're all, they all smell really, really strong. Like, there's none of them that I'm struggling to pick up a scent from. Okay, and then we have lemon tea and cakes, and... Y'all know I'm obsessed with tea and cakes. This is just lemon pound cake and tea and cakes. Oh my god, yeah, it's that amazing tea and cake scent. Not, not any kind of weird, jank tea and cakes. Yeah, and it's just super lemony and sweet and cakey. Oh my god, it's so amazing. This one might be my, my fave out of the whole order at this moment. Got some more scent shots before I get into the supernatural, I believe. Okay, and then we got feast mode, which is toasted marshmallow, cinnamon donut, cider lane, and sugar cookie. Ooh, you really get the cider lane first of all, and then the cinnamon donut. Yeah, that is that is amazing. I love cider lane personally. This, this is really, really good. Okay. And we got coffee bean, which is just roasted coffee beans. Amazing. It's really, really rich. Yeah, I would melt this by itself. I would blend it. A good one. And then we have a really pretty blue scent shot. Blue sugar. Vanilla musk, citrus, patchouli, and green florals. Hmm, interesting. It's really musky. Yeah, I, I definitely get the, the vanilla musk. I don't really know about patchouli. Yeah, that's pretty good. I just, I just wanted to know what it smelled like. I don't know if this is like a typical blue sugar, but it smells, it smells pretty good. Very perfumey. Okay. And I got blueberry pancakes, which is blueberry, buttermilk pancakes, maple syrup, and pecans. Ooh, that's good. It kind of smells like a blueberry muffin. Y'all know, not a fan of blueberry scents at all until um, Wolf Licks patches. So that really turned me on to blueberry scents. Yeah, so that's really, really, really good. I can't wait to melt it. Okay, and then we got a little baby over here. This is... Okay, so yeah, this is the first of the Supernatural sampler, so... What? So, is the Supernatural sampler in a box in a box? Is that what's going on? Except for this one, which didn't fit. I think that's what happened. A little bit confusing. I don't think there's any like invoice or no card or anything in here. Interesting. Maybe it's in here. I would have been better prepared if I known this was in here. Give me a sec. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna start with Gabriel's sweet tooth. Gabriel's Sweet Tooth. Okay, so it looks like an extra one just made it in there on accident. So, that's cool. 
Um, this is lollipops and Skittles. So hopefully I like it since I got two of them. Yeah. I don't really get as much Skittles as I do lollipops, but it's really good. Okay. And then we got salt and burn, which is kettle corn, salted caramel, and bonfire. And that smells, I mean, that smells, that sounds exactly like my type of scent. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. I love kettle corn scents. I don't really get much bonfire, but I definitely get kettle corn. Okay, and then we got Rowena's Hex Bag, which is lavender patchouli and rosemary pepper. And this had a lot of scents that I was like not sure if they would be up my alley, but I loved Supernatural so, so much when I was in high school that I just had to get it. That smells good. Rosemary pepper. It itches my nose a little bit, unfortunately, um, but I think when I'm melting it, it'll be really good. It's a nice, fresh scent. Okay, that's what's popping out at me. We got Cherry on My Wayward Son. How cute. Cherry Crumb Pie and Cherry Marshmallow. I love cherry. Ooh, that's so good. It smells like a Twizzler. Love it. Okay, and then, oh, look at all those beautiful colors. We got Wendigo, which is pine forest, mud, and bonfire. That sounds amazing. This is making me want to watch Supernatural. I might have to do that. Ooh, that smells so good. I really get the bonfire. Um, oh, yeah, a little bit of pine and a little bit of mud, but mainly the bonfire is what I get. That is so amazing. And then this one is King of Hell, which is Lord of Misrule in Bourbon Tobacco. Ooh, I don't normally like um, Lord of Misrule in wax, but I'm not really getting Lord of Misrule. To me, this smells like a cherry icy from like the movie theater, which I love. That smells so good. Okay. And then we have Sam Winchester which is library flannel and polo red and i think polo red is a cologne scent let me see if these are easy to get out or not 0.75 ounce these seem big though it's not super easy to get out okay there we go oh that smells so good i actually love that flannel and polo red yeah that is so nice okay we got pudding. Yeah, I remember. I remember that scene. <laughs> pistachio pudding cake and banana pudding. I love pistachio, so let's see. Ooh, I think I can do that one actually. I, I don't when it's like a bakery banana with like cinnamon and that kind of thing, I can't really do it, but maybe this one, banana pudding, I could do. Oh, I love banana pudding. Okay, and then we got dude, where's the pie? Which is hot apple pie, pie crust, and whipped cream. Sounds delicious. Yeah, that is so nice. A really good, just like apple pie scent. And then we got Dean Winchester, which is leather, flannel, aqua di Gio. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing another uh, cologne and bourbon. Whoa. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Whoops. My tripod's not the most stable thing in the world. So I don't know what it is that's giving it this really amazing sweet scent. It it must be the cologne. Oh, wow, that is amazing. I want to go back and get more of this. Wow. Okay, and then over here we got Idgits. Bobby. Bourbon Library Crackling Firewood and Autumn Flannel. Sounds so good. Yeah, this is good. This smells um, kind of similar to one of the ones I've already smelled. Um, kind of similar to this one. The Sam Winchester. Oh, that smells so good. Kind of kind of also reminds me of the slushy. So maybe it's the bourbon smell that is the one that reminds me of the slushy. I love it. Oh, no, almost done. 
Oh, here we go. Here's the card. Thank you for the support. Oh, cute, it's a bookmark. All right, we got Shotgun Shuts His Cake Hole. Love it. Birthday cake, strawberry white cake, and vanilla pound cake. This one is the one that I like the least out of all the scents so far, but I'm really not a strawberry white cake white cake fan. It's just not ever been a scent that I have really gotten along with. Yeah, so that's out of uh, all these melts, like the first one so far that I'm not 100% in love with, so. Okay, this one is Woman in White, which is Antique Lace and Dead Sexy, and I'm guessing Dead Sexy is a perfume. Yeah, that's good. It's a little musky, um, kind of sweet, kind of perfumey. I like that one. And then this one sounds very interesting. I kept seeing gasoline, and I was like, what? So 67 Impala, pine, leather, gasoline, motor oil, and mud. I have no idea what to expect. Wow. I love it. I definitely get pine. I don't know if I'm necessarily getting gasoline or motor oil, maybe a little bit of leather. I do love it though, it smells amazing. And then we have Driver Picks the Music, which goes with um, Shotgun Shuts His Cake Hole, you yeah, know. New Car and Pine Forest. I love that new car smell. Yeah, it smells really good. My mom would love this one. She loves pine. Maybe I'll melt this one whenever she comes over. Okay, and then I have Circle of Salt. This is the last one. Salty Sea Air and Salted Caramel Corn. That sounds like it's going to be right up my alley. Yeah, that smells amazing. So I got all of this stuff. This is like way, way more wax than I have right now right here. This is going to more than double my wax collection. So this has been a long video. Thank you so, so much, The Burning Mitten. I think shipping for this was like $8.99 or something. I don't know if I, if I got free shipping because I spent like $60 on this order, I believe. Um, so I think that's a, a good amount for all of this stuff, plus getting it shipped all the way from Michigan. You, it's, it's not even all, it's not even all in frame. So I'm really, really excited to melt all of this stuff. Thank you to the Burning Mitten. It doesn't say uh, the name or anything, but I love the little logo. So thank you so much to the Burning Mitten, and thank you guys for watching. Bye!